Got it. Are you getting it? Yep. <laughs> don't, don't get in the way, but just see this is always right, I'm going to try and get your hands in the picture. Okay. You can stick them out a little bit. Perfect. Can you see both the remote and the helicopter? Yep. Oh, well, if you get the helicopter a little closer, it'll be okay. good. For the record, for a helicopter on manual mode, my hand's not moving like this. It would have crashed in four seconds. I'm going to turn it to the wall a little bit and leave it there. It's taking care of the yaw on its own. It's taking care of the ailerons and elevations on its own. It's very predictable. Oh, I can't believe this. It's actually doing it all by itself. Yep. I mean, look at my right hand, I'm not moving it at all. Can you please tell how many minutes into the video? We're about three. Three minutes and mm -hmm. still flying. Perfect, because the longest we got was how many seconds? <laughs> Uh, about five last time. So yeah, I'm going to try to turn 180 degrees. Stay there. Perfect. Just don't don't get too close to the helicopter just in case. Just you in know, case. because the computer is flying it right now. I go over there and try a little bit higher. Okay, that's Okay, now that's the highest. We, okay, the battery is going down. Okay. So this, see, this is the battery's effect. When the tail is shaking like that, can you hear the motor pulsing? Yep. And, uh, and the microfiber is trying to fight that because your torque is constantly changing with it. All right, take it home.